Hello, tango friends. Welcome to Patricio Neva Tango class. Today we have Enrosque Lapis Amparada, a lot for the lead, so pay Ooh. attention to all the information we are going to give you. Um, for the follows, we need to have a very, very good molinete, so that's our goal, to be very good at it. Uh, we are going to give a couple of tips uh, for you to accomplish what we prepare for you today, okay? Before we go to the class, I want to say, as always, thank you so much to Cristina Delon for this beautiful jewelry. Mm, I love it, thank you so much. I feel Turkey-ish today. Beautiful. <laughs> Turkey-ish. <laughs> and summery, it's summer here, beautiful weather, we are enjoying the summer, and we are ready to dance. I feel Argentinian-ish. Right. You feel Argentinian-ish, okay. Yes. <laughs> ah, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's yes. good to see you at the studio again. <laughs> good to Dancing see you. Dancing tango to all our friends. We're getting new friends all over the world. That's we're the idea. Yeah, we're receiving messages from Europe, Asia, Latin America, mm -hmm. North America. We start classes uh, this week, th sorry, in, uh, in two weeks, uh, in September. We start new group classes in Kingston, a new location across the water from uh, Seattle for all the people in the Pacific Northwest. The, the peninsula. peninsula, yeah. Yes, very exciting. Very, yeah, I mean, very happy to, yes. yes. Eva's classes, uh, Eva's conditioning classes continue on Tuesdays. We have space if you want to join us online. You got two uh, formats. You can join our live streamings on Tuesdays where Eva will lead the technique class for body conditioning for tango dancers. Or you can watch them um, online afterwards. You don't have to watch them live uh, so then you can do them and repeat them throughout the week mm -hmm. uh, Correct. consider that that would be a very good addition to your work mm -hmm. yeah the idea but is to strain, strengthen your body uh, to straighten your body yeah straighten straighten your body <laughs> and strengthening your exactly, body exactly both things both. and achieving more um, flexibility so everything you need to dance tango, right? A lot Eva of, is the queen of flexibility. A lot of mobility and understanding of your axis and stuff like that. Okay? This yes. week, this week I received in the mail a beautiful gift. I received a pile of CDs, a lot of uh, uh, CDs here. Check this one out. This is memorabilia. This is from the movie Tango. I danced in it. Uh, 25 years ago, uh, a lot of dancers uh, from that generation are in this movie, so this is really nice. A lot of uh, tango albums. Uh, we are getting into preserving a collection of CDs. This one day will be uh, something from the past and something worth to save. So here we are preserving a collection of vinyls and CDs. These ones I received from Helen Carrigan. Yeah. Helen Carrigan Abajo. is in Chicago, in Detroit, sorry, and uh, she sent them our way, she knows we're going to take care of them, and we are looking forward to listen to all of those musics. Yep. Now, I'm going to get the guys working, and I'm going to give them a little bit of a solo work, okay? Okay. Follows should do this as well, because the follows have... Yes. Opportunities for enrosque mm -hmm. uh, in the tango as well. Correct. And in general, you uh, have to be led into an enrosque, or at least the lead has to create the space, the context. Um, but definitely, there is room for enrosques. If we have time, we will tap into that today. I want to work mm -hmm. on enrosques for the lead. This is a classic of the Argentine tango salon. Yes. This yeah. Argentine salon. tango salon is something of a certain era. And when you study this, you study the repertoire, the classic repertoire of tango salon's figures that you have to do perfectly. You're not going to come up with anything new. Everything is already invented as far as tango salon goes. But uh, what you can do is master every movement. It's kind of like ballet, that the repertoire is already created. This is something that was created 100 years ago. But people study that to perfection. Yes, right? you become better Different and better. Is when you are wanting to create and now wanting to create new movements, a new form of dancing. But this is classic. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is this, guys. You're going to step with your left foot forward. How about we switch to a footwork camera? Okay, exactly. so they can me? see a close-up of what we're going to do here. 
If you hypothetically are dancing and you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you're going to step forward with your left foot. Then you're going to enrosque about 180 degrees. As you, as you transfer the weight back onto your right leg, you finish. So you begin with your weight on your left foot. You enrosque, you anchor your weight to your right leg, and you launch your lapis. Pivot, parada. I'll do it one more time. You're walking in the tango, walking in the tango, walking in the tango, step forward with your left, enrosque with the right, I mean with the left finishing on the right, parada to the left. One more time. Step forward with your left, put your axis on top, enrosque, anchor onto your right leg, launch a lapis with your left, come through the front, sweep to the side, parada. The follow here is going to do a front ocho, and here you begin to the other side. Position, lapis, into the enrosque, lapis, onto parada. One more time. Left foot, enrosque, lapis, parada. Transfer weight. Lapis. Enrosque. Lapis. Parada. I'd like to show a full body uh, of the same, uh, a full body shot of the same movement. So this way, we will see that I walk forward, rotate my upper body. In this way, I'm leading my partner to the left. So I'm killing two birds with one shot. I mean, because I get two uh, different things. As I rotate my body, I get the disassociation that allows me to do the enrosque, but also I'm leading my partner around me. So I'm indicating to the follow to go counterclockwise, and then I follow with enrosque. Stop the enrosque anchoring onto my right leg. Lapis. Transfer weight, open the right side. Lapis. Enrosque. Lapis Parada. This is a beautiful dream to do by yourself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I lost it. <laughs> One, You're going too fast. <laughs> two, three, four. Well, I wanted to do it on four on four, but the second side is longer because it requires one lapis and then you have the count. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful movement to master. For yeah. those who like to study the tango, there is the social dancers and there is the people who study tango. This requires you to like to study this. And that would be it. Now the follow has to do perfect molinetes. This is, we're talking molinetes because this is salon and this is old style. So, <laughs> molinetes or turn. A molinete Vamos. is a windmill, and we call them molinete. A turn is the same as a circle. So there are different words for the same thing. Here I step forward with my right foot, lead my partner diagonally back at 12 o'clock, and then step towards 9 o'clock. That's where I insert my sacada, see, here. For those who like to study Mingo, st uh, thai, Mingo style uh, turning, uh, this is position number four. Wherever you go, this is the front step for the follow. Front, back, side, front. Then look to the right, lapis, enrosque, lapis parada and finish. <laughs> or not. This is it. This is the work for today. You already know the expectation. Now is to get to know the details. Nice. I will, uh, for the ladies, this is Molinete, obviously. Um, it's a perfect Molinete you have to do. I will add, at the end, a, a different way just to do the, um, for you to practice, a different way of doing the, 
uh, little, uh, what is the name? The parada. The parada, exactly, at that moment, okay? So this one, I will add, you throw the leg like that and you Ooh. turn at the end, okay? So you have something different to practice. Yes, the curl. Yes, the curl. Yes. And this is every follow's favorite, mm -hmm. and some leads too. Yeah. Well, right now, yeah, yes. I did it a little bit like straight, but just uh, I will, I will, uh, I will do it as I feel, and I will pass that to you. Okay. Because nobody imagined what she was gonna do next. <laughs> see, I push onto Eva, and then, see, that is such a, such a nice element, mm -hmm. pushing against the frame. Mm -hmm. When I push against the frame. The, the frame uh, be, receives tension, and that, ex that tension creates the expansion. Mm -hmm. And I like that. For example, I take a longer step, and then that pushes my partner, you see? Mm -hmm. Now, when I begin, I go slow, slow. My partner goes quick, quick, slow. So I go slow, slow. She goes back, side, forward. That means quick, quick, slow. <laughs> step to the side, quick, quick, slow. Such a lovely feeling. This part only is mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Quick, quick, slow. Enrosque, lapis. That in itself is nice. Correct. You don't have to do more than that. Yeah, and we, it's okay that it's, we start building on top of it because it's a lot anyways. So. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Ooh, you do that so well, my darling. <laughs> quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Yes. A lot of our students ask us where to do the lapis. And in the context of a turn or a molinete, guys, I always start the, the lapis after her back step. So the follow will go forward, pivot, side, pivot, back, and after the back, before her side step, I launch my molinete systematically. Front, side, back. My lapis goes there. You see, because it's already set up that your lapis will go side forward, back, side forward. Therefore, you enter into the next figure on her forward step, possibly an enrosque. So if you go back, side forward, see, I'm ready to enter again with the enrosque here, or I'm ready to slide and do the parada to right. the right. Yeah. Let's give our friends a break, because I know we, we talk a lot about the technicisms the and the information. And I just yeah. want to uh, give you an important piece of information uh, that will make sure that we remain here in this screen. Would you like to remind people how they can uh, support our work, Eva? Yes, of course, always. So if you like what we do and you want to contribute to our classes, you can always donate, donate to Venmo or PayPal. Um, and we really appreciate uh, your help okay, to keep us moving forward and giving the information to you to become a better tango dancer, to have all the knowledge and all the technique and everything that we share with you. reloj de cobre que vas marcando en el tiempo los pasajes de mi vida que me llenan de emoción fuiste orgullo de mi viejo que lucía en su cadena como un callo de sus años pegado en el corazón cuántas veces calmó el llanto de consentido purrete mi vieja como un juguete decía prestáselo y mientras él murmuró 
vieja se sonreía y contento me dormía jugando con el reloj. Hoy ya pasaron los años, se me fue blanqueando el pelo, el rebenque de la vida me ha golpeado sin cesar y en el banco presta mí. He llegado a formar fila Esperando que en la lista Me llamaran a cobrar Perdóname viejo si le voy a vivir. Sé que lo has querido tanto como yo Sé que desde el cielo me estás campaneando Y que estás llorando como yo, no yo Cuatro pesos sucios por esa reliquia Venganza del mundo taimado y traidor Me mordí fuerte las manos El dinero me quemaba Y mientras que blasfemaba A la calle enderecé Y la imagen de mi madre Vi que me compadecía y Llorando me decía, el viejo te perdonó. So, uh, the last piece, I didn't want to push too hard. I was doing it slowly, a few times here and there. Notice how I bring my partner back, side, and when she goes side, she goes slightly in the diagonal with me. See here. We go one. I own the center now with this step right here. See, I'm staying here. And she's walking diagonally onto the right. Then I try to make her step in front of me, and this is my reference. My foot will go here after she takes the next step. There. Mm -hmm. Now, notice something here. I'm going to do a slightly offset so you can appreciate Eva's crossbody motion. One and two. If my partner comes towards me and puts her foot right, right there, she's kind of blocking my space. I will try to enter into the sacada and I will hit her front thigh mm -hmm. here. I will hit her front thigh trying to enter into the sacada. So it's very important that the follow is aware of this and she puts her foot cross. Do you see? You can see my back foot over there, but if I put it here in front of my hip, you don't. That's the difference between getting kicked and not. Mm -hmm. So important that you lead your partner further away so she unfolds her back foot. Number one. Number two, for the follow, when you study your turn, it is imperative that you push yourself off from the back foot and you elevate your heel until your toes are touching the floor, and then you remove your foot. Mm -hmm. But don't lift it up too soon. Don't go like this. Because if you walk up before you actually finish bringing your way forward, then you're taking away the moment in which the lead will do the sacada. Number three, if you stay anchored with your heel down, then your foot is flat horizontal onto the floor, and the lead will kick you onto your foot as he's trying to step in front of your foot. Let's uh, do a demonstration of that, please. See, if I go here, and your foot is flat, I will hit your toes. But if you are there, then I don't hit your toes. It will not be the only reason why somebody no, will kick you, <laughs> but if you don't wanna get kicked and you wanna do your best for what your part is, then focus on pushing your foot up yeah. of the ground, peeling your foot off the ground like a band-aid from the heel to the toe, from the heel to the toe. Yeah, and I would say that that applies for anything you do, basically, for leads and follows. It's not just an eventuality because we are doing this particular step. Every time we walk, we want to project the leg and push ourselves off the other leg. So the actual rolling off that foot should be present most of the time, right? Unless we maybe are doing a, uh, like a rock step that we don't complete our weight transfer. But every time we complete our weight transfer, I would say that 
in any direction that you want to not only project, but transfer your weight, push yourself off, and place yourself in the following uh, axis that you have. So that mechanic, if you don't have it incorporated, start incorporating it because it's essential for your tango. Yes, our friend Shlomo from Israel, who watches our videos every week, uh, sent us a comment and message us telling us that he loved your explanation of the back ochos with the push and project, push and project. Um, and, uh, in the previous class. Very, yeah, in the previous class. He find mm -hmm. it very useful. Okay. And this is, like you very well say, built into every step. As yeah. you push from behind, more or less, sometimes you barely do it, sometimes you do it a lot. Depends on uh, the occasion. It's important to have the, um, uh, the to, knowledge to, have the knowledge to do it. That that's yeah. how you propel through the floor. Mm -hmm. Because it's the only surface in which you are making contact with. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although yes. I don't think there are quicks or slows mm -hmm. when we are dancing, a lot of people rely on this information to figure out the rhythm in the tango. Mm -hmm. So there is movement for the follow. From the moment I put my right foot forward, the follow does quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So for the follow's timing, she will go quick, yes. quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. That is the follow timing. So this is an opportunity to show off your perfect turn. Mm -hmm. When you have a perfect turn, leads will love you. <laughs> quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Okay. I think we can close to the camera. This, yes. Oh, no, here we are. So, ah, I no, no, I think oh, okay. this is a large studio. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, yes. Okay. I love that. That was beautiful. Let's One more do time. it again? Yes. yes. Time for the follow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, Quick, slow, slow. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> so you delay that movement a little bit. Well, that's something that I need to explain. Um, you want to talk about that? Yes, I will explain a little bit for the follow so you can start practicing uh, your embellishment at the end. Um, so if you, I will show you with the, this camera. Um, sorry, fun, okay. So I will show you the footwork at the moment of the embellishment I'm trying to teach you right now. So let's say that this is the last step that we do here before actually going to do this parada here. So very often time we are just going to turn on top of this foot once we put our weight and we're going to do that, correct? Sometimes if we are higher we are not even doing that, you might go directly to a close position. So that's up to you, up to the um, interpretation at that moment with your partner, how bent your knees are, and stuff like that. Right now, what I wanted to teach you is this. Once we put our um, weight in the front leg, and we, instead of, instead of leaving that leg behind and going after the fact that the torso goes, so instead of doing torso hip, we are going to send the leg ahead of the torso. As soon as you feel that the lead start turning you on top of this foot, where you are standing, you are going to do this with the other leg. See that? So from the back, you are going to anticipate that, and you are going to throw your leg, like in a turnout position, yes? Turn now position here. I'm not straight. I'm turn out. Why I'm turn out? Because at the moment I do that, 
turn out, I take that energy to flip my hips. You saw that? I show you. So we go front, we throw the leg around, anticipating, and we flip our hip. Yes? So we do. I do it through the air right now. You don't need to, okay? So we're going to go leg, flip it. So from here, you bring it a little bit closer, like you want to do um, like a rulo. We call these little uh, things a uh, rulo. So it's that you want to go from this position to like a rulo here. You see that? But instead of staying there, when you start doing that, you just push to the final position. Yes? Okay. Let's do it one more time. So we go front, front step here. We throw the leg around and we flip it. We throw the leg around and we flip it. Throw, flip, throw, flip, throw, flip. And you can do it obviously to the other side, which I did um, one of the time I was dancing with Patricio. The other leg, you practice the same. Throw, flip, throw, flip. So you feel the energy here, but as soon as this starts going, you anticipate that in the leg. So instead of leaving it there, you anticipate, sorry, I don't know, <laughs> okay, where are we? There, can we do it together now? Yeah. One, throw, flip, there. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Throw, flip. Throw, flip. Throw, flip. Throw, oops. Okay. Throw, flip. Throw, flip. Yes? So that's the mechanic in your body to do that particular embellishment. Good. I think ladies can practice. They can practice by themselves. They can grab into something and do it by themselves. Good. So you throw, flip. And then it's faster, right? Because you don't have much time really to do it. Yeah? So One see. nice thing about this is that, for example, uh, I'm showing right and left, but if we go one side only, and we go like this. Once you're there, I can send you back and front one more time. Mm -hmm. Back and front. See, I turn her back and front. So it could be that you, instead of doing it once, you do it one, twice, three times. Well, it can one be that even if, if your partner doesn't send you, and if he gives you the space, and you're listening to a music that inspires you to do more, at that particular moment, you can throw yourself by uh, up. Uh, I, I show you. You don't do anything. I do it. Like I do one, boom, two. Why not, right? I mean, you can do so many things if you have the moment. If the lead is just giving you that space, you can do many things. Yeah. So you don't even need to lead it. It's all about attention. If the lead is paying attention, he doesn't need to give you the space. If the lead is right. with you, he will sense that you, that are, you taking are taking the moment. This yeah. Not that he needs to give it to you. Yeah. You take the moment. Yes. As long as we are in accord, mm -hmm. that we sense that what we each other, what we both are doing, mm -hmm. it's fine. Sure. One, three, five, seven, eight. One, three, five, six, seven. That would be one side. Mm -hmm. Both sides together, back to back, looks something like this. Wum, bum, 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 wum, dum, bum, zum, bum, bum, yum, bum, 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 yeah. Sorry. Oh, yes, good. I was resisting. <laughs> I, I, I was turning you and I felt the resistance. So I noticed. One more time. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Shall we dance again? Yes. Let's dance. We're getting to the end with this. And nothing better to finish than a nice tango. La viruta, ¿qué te parece? Dale. It's time to say goodbye one more time. But we will be back next week. Yes, that's a good thing. We we'll see you some... next week. That's good. Next week, next Thursday at the same time. Okay. Muy hermoso. Gracias por todo. That was some beautiful tango going on. I look forward to see all of you next week. And especially you. You will see me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. We love you.